Hello everybody and welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West where I don't know, do I need to equip this thing? Oh my gosh, it's just Oh my Oh my gosh, this is amazing. This is actually amazing. Oh my gosh, I don't have a breath counter. It's not even like a long one. I just I just Oh my gosh. Gosh, this is amazing. I'm so excited. <laughs> so excited. No, wait, wait. How do I... I don't know how to go faster. The mask seems to be holding up. I've never been able to swim this Yeah, what happens when she gets really deep and it breaks, you know what I'm saying? It's like, uh, oopsie-daisy. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to see the aquatic machines. Are these? Oh, I thought it was just bioluminescence, but I think they're actually yeah, they're holograms. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, geez. Ah, okay. That's cool. Okay, oh, freaking. Does the topography doesn't freaking? So it can you can see stuff that's like really kind of harder to see in the distance. That's cool, that's cool. Um, click. It started right here, more than 30 years ago. Back when this casino was still called the Temple. One big day turned my fate around. But now, fate's dealt as cruel as hell ever to everyone. I have to turn the lights out one final time. And the waters of my adopted home will at last run dry. Well, if a dream has to die, at least I can say goodbye first. Stanley Chen. What did he do here? Do we know him from something else, or are we just gonna... Is he just, like, the proprietor of this place? I wonder if it has anything to do... Because, like, like, the whole water issue that we were seeing... Um, with like the the civil essentially like a tiny the tiny civil war that happened, with people not wanting to be put like relocated, but the government being like there's not enough water and resources for you out here, <laughs> so get out. <laughs> we'll put you somewhere else where you can actually be. You know you can survive. Uh, 20 years ago this week, Stanley Chen broke ground on one to make sure everything's working out with one of the most ambitious construction projects in American history, even though many Americans didn't want him there. As he struck his spade into the barren soil, the CEO quipped how resentment against Chinese political influence had turned Vegas into a boiling hotbed of nationalistic sentiment, but how his immense fortune had cooled that down, finally warming... Americans to his idea of a new Las Vegas. Who would have believed at the time that he would become one of the most beloved figures of the clawback era? But Stanley Chen has always been one to defy the odds, literally. In 2035, during a meeting with potential investors at the Old Tempo Hotel, Chen watched in horror as his water filtration startup drowned before his very eyes, realizing too late that his once trusted lawyer had sold critical patent info to the competition. The resulting chain reaction of Busta's deal was wiped him out, leaving him with only $88,000 to his name that wow i wish i had that much money wow that's a lot of money to have i mean i realize in like the grand scheme of things it's not but like wow <laughs> i don't have wow devastated chen decided to leave his fortune to fate he went to casino floor and placed all 888k 88k on a roulette wheel number eight it hit the resulting 37 to 1 payout netted him nearly 3.2 million enough to rejuvenate his dreams of starting a successful business he threw himself back into his work eternally thankful for his lucky new lease on life five years later it wasn't chen that needed saving but vegas itself the hot zone crisis had strangled tourism years of ever-increasing heat had dried out the county the county completely Water in critical demand everywhere was now too expensive to import. Abandonment seemed like the only option. The city of lights was about to go dark forever. But Stanley Chen couldn't let that happen. In five years of incredible success, he had turned 3.2 million into 200 billion. What the heck? Selling water filtration technology that was pretty to look at. Maybe hologram, hologram stuff. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Explore, explore. Yes, this is how I go faster. 
My light is weak. Look, I know all the cool stuff's over there, but I was hoping there would be some cool goodies over here. Nautical lights. It must be Poseidon's doing. You mean the ones we've already passed? Like a bunch of? Sounds weird. What is that noise? <laughs> it's probably nothing. Ha 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 ha. Sounds like a crab scuttling. Oh. Oh, it's a it's a hologram school fish. Do they react to your presence? Not really. Okay, I was like, whoa. <laughs> it's making noises though, like dolphin noises, kind of. Look, I know. I know down's the way to go, but I want to look up. This is, I'm, I'm still, I'm just being able to swim without any constraints and having to feel like I'm personally suffocating <laughs> is glorious. I've played one game like that where, called Abzu, which was super relaxing. I love it. It's like a four hour game. I highly recommend it. It's just really beautiful. Very relaxing. I'm also concerned that potentially down here in the depths is something. Do I have a map? Significantly slower going. I just don't want to miss anything. Ooh. We're gonna find Poseidon, it's gonna be super easy, barely any convenience. Just gonna pick him up and everything's gonna be fine. This looks very eerily. Very eerily like uh, the Titanic, you know? Oh, will I let the water out of here at some point? Interesting, because there's climbing stuff. Unfortunate. It's much easier to navigate. What is that noise? Oh my gosh. It's easier to navigate slower, but it's much less frustrating to navigate this um, in the water. Like how we turn around near a wall? She actually does interact with the wall. She, uh, like, pushes off of it. Oh my gosh, is that a Leopleurodon? Did I, hang on, I gotta double check. They were my two, like, favorite freaking dinosaurs as a kid. Okay, the Leopleurodon is the one that looks kind of like a crocodile, kind of. Who was the long neck one? The plesiosaur. The plesiosaur. That one looked like a plesiosaur. I'm pretty sure we also have the Leoplard on in this game. At least it looked like a plesiosaur. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, can I scan it? Oh, come on. Let me scan it. I should be able to scan underwater, too. This place is massive. All of it's encased in a dome. Do you get aggressive? Oh my gosh, it's a... There it is, there it is. Tide Ripper. Look at it, it's gorgeous. Is this the warning light? I think I'm supposed to stay away from over there. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Why is there like a whole city under here? Holy cow. Like cars and street lights. Wait. Oh my gosh, you see that? That's the that's the that's the freaking Oh no, never mind. That's not all. That's a normal. Okay. But we have a police deal store over there. Oh my gosh. Is this stealth kelp? Stealth kelp. I don't actually know if it's normal kelp or stealth kelp. Stealth kelp. Wow, this is very cool. Oh, it's so beautiful. I'm sure I should probably follow where the game wants me to go. I'm sure I'll get to wander around, but I really wanted to see it uh, in all its watery glory, you know? Are those real fish? They are real fish! Because that's a real plant I can pick up. Oops, oops, oops. You're not gonna... Oh. So I really can't interact with this place until I get the water down? Well, I don't know what, I don't know what you do then. <laughs> I like it the way it is. Oh, don't, don't look at me. This is definitely a uh, water level, Zelda water level-esque. You gotta get the water out of the temple. Wait, you, you gotta do that in Twilight Princess. What? <laughs> Holy cow, what is that? <laughs> this looks like a giant astronaut. So, it, there's nowhere to hide over there, so I'm really thinking I shouldn't go over there. Maybe I could go in there? Wait, where's the, where's the giant astronaut? I was gonna look at it. Yes! And they have an Eiffel Tower over there? Oh, this is just so neat. Oh, look at over there. A thing. Where, where is it? Is it? Is it inside there? You go. Whoa. What am I gonna buy? Maybe a tank? What? I will acquire my own personal pet fox and follow it wherever it goes. Ah, classic, classic. Follow it wherever it goes. It's the classic follow the fox. Oh, so I will be able to climb on this eventually. The grapple hook. Well, it wanted me to go down. I thought I went where... Oh, no. Does it actually want me to go in there? That's cool. That's cool. Not, that's not gonna happen. It is. <laughs> I'm sure it will. Oh! Well, now I'm stuck. I... I, I'm actually stuck in the... Oh my gosh, no! I'm stuck in the thing! Get me out! I don't know how to get out! <laughs> oh no, do I have to reload? I think I have to reload. Oh, that's a, that's an unfortunate side effect of this, I guess. I feel like that should have been tested, but okay. Wait, maybe can I wiggle out? No, I'm just I'm just jammed in there. Cool. Well, okay, I guess I will uh <laughs> I'll go back. I'll 
Oh my gosh, I hope it's not too far. Oh, I can activate my stealth stalker while I'm underwater. I am wondering though if the current's gonna be. Oh, do I? I should take a look at that red light I saw earlier. Oh, okay. If it was a warning. I think it's part of some kind of alarm system. Are you gonna let me poke it now? Because that's really frustrating. Oh my gosh. That's dumb. See, I, here I am thinking I should find the red light first. Critical flooding detected. Automatic drainage controls offline. To execute an emergency purge. Manual reset of primary and secondary pump nodes is required. The purge can then be triggered at the pump maintenance station. If I do this purge and drain all the water, I can fight that big machine on dry ground. Which sounds horrifying. I have to reset a couple of pump nodes first. According to the map, there should be an access point for the first node. So yeah, figures. Okay, that's a little frustrating. It's like, oh, I found the red light first, so I could see what's going on and it's like won't let me touch it unless I activate a specific set of dialogue. It's like, what? <laughs> I just have to be sneaky. I also have my stealth thing. More machines down here. Stick to cover. Ooh, I can use smoke bombs too. Okay. Oh, hi! Oh my gosh, could you imagine trying to fight these underwater? Don't notice me. I saw that pulse go out. This is the land of the free. How can we be free? We can't even drive our own cars. As your lawyer, I must remind you that removing the car's self-drive auto automation could lead to... The whole point of this case is to return my fine vintage automobile to its original condition, and that means no robots. Yes, and in our paper, this is a piece of history, American history, from when we made things. Do they want all our history to vanish? I'm not sure the court... Oh, no, the court will say it's just blah, 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 it's just a car, blah, blah, blah. Uh, it's, it's likely that it's not that it's about. It's by returning the car to its original, unchained, unbridled American... God, people will get... They'll ascribe meaning to anything, you know what I mean? Mm, things change, my dude. I'm just trying to figure out where that... There it is. Can I... Yeah, I want to mark it. Wait, it's got a... A quest resource attached to it, I see, okay. Highlight, can I highlight it? I can highlight the track, but only while it's in that specific. I can hear the dang nab. I see the little squirmy guys, too. I don't feel safe in here. I feel safe in the weeds, in the other weeds. Um, but I do not, do not feel safe in the, the kelp. I'm not gonna, and I can't see, like, I can't see out of the kelp very well. No! Okay, it's like a, <laughs> it's like a ink. I hope this is low enough to uh, be hidden in the stealth kelp. This is so much scarier than interacting with them on land. Where do you want me to go? What's that? That looks like a control center. Go, 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 go. The 
There's the access point. Should lead me to the pump node. That doesn't seem very OSHA safe. Look at these tunnels down here. Water lines for an entire city. Oh. I was thinking that was a second path and I was like, no. <laughs> I feel like there's gonna be something in here. Oh! I can't reach the ledge from here. Maybe there's something I can climb to get out. I think you should just haul yourself up. Look, she could climb up on this. She could climb up on that. But what they probably want me to do is like pull that or something. I don't know. I don't think I can even activate my my thing while I'm in the water. Ah. So I looked it up, because I, uh, I was like, freaking, I don't know. I swam around this whole thing, scanning, not seeing anything I can climb, but apparently down here, there's a, okay, there's a ladder here next to this plant. <laughs> cool. How, how was I freaking supposed to know that? Uh... Stanley Chen, the primary node shut down now. I think the last time I was down here was during the Lumera Grand incident. A malfunction led to an overflow of detergent in the pipes. Suds rose up from every fountain as we frantically tried to fix it. I looked up and saw everyone in the lobby chasing bubbles the size of basketballs, young and old alike. Another magical moment in the impossible city. This was a whole freaking city that he built down here. Like, holy moly. And there was that, like, old truck. I did see that old truck. So that whatever the signet thing that guy was saying, I don't know who it was about him. You know, give me back my original vehicle without all the automation in there, you know? Um. It's probably that truck. So I don't know. It apparently has some sort of significance. So where's all this water gonna go? There. One node down. Better swim back up and find the access point for the second node. Thanks for the stuff. According to the map, the second node should be on the other side of the dome. Not too far. This reminds me of Assassin's Creed Black Flag, where, like, I love diving underwater very, very much. Um, but the... <laughs> the worst thing was the sharks. Like, you couldn't really do it. You had, like... I don't even think they would let you use your knife on them. You just had to, like, you had to, to avoid them. And if they caught you, they'd shake you around a little bit, and you could, like, punch them off. And I was like, I have a built-in blade on my arm or i think maybe i take the blade off under the water it was that looks like you didn't want to get rusty but like what kind of seaman goes underwater without some kind of blade you know what i mean like they always have like a knife strapped to them i was like why do i not have a knife of some kind strapped to my leg you know like i get that it would rust but like i think we can afford a new knife my dude This is so scary. Okay, now you need to look away. Oh, don't look, don't look, don't look. I don't have that many smoke bombs. I 
another access point. Should get me to the second node. Stealth kill, stealth kill, stealth kill. Stealth kill, stealth kill. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Yeah, keep going. <laughs> I'm just gonna like drown all these water things, or I guess I drown them in oxygen. Not really. They don't, they don't even need oxygen at all. But like, I still, especially the freaking plesiosaur. It's just gonna be like what flopping around. The snap maw is obviously gonna be fine. But uh, and the little little otters will be fine. But. Uh, the freaking plesiosaur is gonna be sad. Just shut down the secondary node. No more water for the fountains. No more shows. No one left to appreciate them anyway. I'll never forget the city's grand reopening. The fountains have been bone dry for years. No one believed they'd ever return. So, as the first bloom arced up in the dome, the music swelling. My heart soared right along with it. The city gave me a second chance once. Now it had one, too. The domes, the water. He was responsible for all of it. Yeah, but that's a massive waste of water. In a place where, like, water was a hot commodity. At least it seems like to me, you know? Whew. Spear should do the trick. Okay, let's see if that helped. Oh, good. Was it gonna give me problems if I didn't do that? Okay, I've taken care of both nodes. Now we just need to activate the emergency purge to the maintenance station. And I know where that is. Stations should be at the south end of the dome. It's kind of far. Stealth kelp, stealth kelp, stealth kelp. Oh, it's a good thing you don't have any scanning properties. Oh, and that's what I was seeing on the surface. I see now. Okay, okay, okay. So it was the it was the top of a freaking underground city. Okay, and that's like it's not just like I don't know. It's not just the design of the ceiling. Like that's like dirt that's covering it up. And then those are like oh the open areas I was seeing. Man, why couldn't I see down into it? That would have been cool. Man, I need you to move. Little guy. I don't even think I can throw rocks. Nope, no rock throwing. Cover slow. Ooh, swim, 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 swim. There's red light in that tower. Oh. Just look at the console. Yes, yes, there. this one? That might be the maintenance station. What? How to get in? From the top. She swims like a fish. Like a dolphin, I guess, rather. Dang it, not from the top. It looks like part of this building collapsed. There might be a way in. Okay, let's see where this leads. Didn't lead anywhere. Oh. I think 
come in the it, it's station hard now. to see because everything's I'm blue. The console to activate the emergency purge. System shutdown is almost done. The only thing left is to power everything down at the control center. So, I guess this is it. One final walk down the strip, and then it's lights out forever. At least I won't be around to see it destroyed. The others will be well on its way to Sirius by the time the swarm gets in. Ah. Still. My last memory of this place will be empty. A city that's already dead. Stanley Chandler. Yeah. Seen it. But he did so much for this place. He. He doesn't sound like the. Other. Then why didn't he help Horizon Zero Dawn? Instead, he took the selfish route out. There. Time to draw this place out. Dang it. Well, it was nice while it lasted. Am I gonna do anything with Okay. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Yeah, uh, where is this water gonna go? Also, removing this much water, like, water does degrade things over time, but it also kind of supports it, so I feel like stuff could, like, just start collapsing, <laughs> you know? We look so cool in this outfit with this face paint. That did it. <laughs> okay. Now I can deal with that machine guarding the door on the other end of the dome. Drop down. And once I get past it, I can get to what's waiting on the other Drop side of the door. Drop down. Okay. Poseidon. Poseidon. This is very weird. I definitely still see. Yeah, I see. I see some water. Right, can I? Okay. Like, is there just gonna be a giant fountain of water outside somewhere? We're gonna create, like, a tiny oasis outside this place. Victory Arch. Oh, now we can see all this stuff. Las Vegas timeline. Mammoths, woolly elephants, came to Nevada. Uh huh. Which are different from pterodactyls. Ha ha. Some people from a place called Spain. Interesting. Uh huh. Uh, lots of hotels are built. Okay, so this is a kid. It's very hot in the animal sign. People say it's too hot. Go away. Go away. Yeah. Ah. But where do you get water from nothing? Like, how did he do that? I was like, I know the snap moths around. Purge left these machines behind. I could sneak by them. One first. There's that one. That one. Oh, wait, is it gonna bring? Oh, no. It's not gonna come up here, but I thought it was for a second. That mall override's corrupted, but I can fix it if I hunt for more parts. Haha, <laughs> I don't care. Stretch it! We did it! Just took a very long time. Mmm. People doing their best. 
Not everybody came to gamble in the same way. I thought there was another cauldron out there that has override data on that machine. How did you see me? Right. I move so slowly with this. I'm really hoping that one explodes. Why am I still crouched also? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I like that it still has the what you call it the hologram plant line. It's nice. Whoa. Okay. Poseidon is through. Ah. Where did that machine? Go? Ah. Hey, Lord. What? It's amazing. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh. I was like, it probably went down in the water. Come on, come on. Hey, was this you? Did you lower the waters? Yeah, but there's a new problem. That thing's in our way. Big. It's so beautiful. Light source coming okay, from then. Stay up here and start firing when I engage. AKA don't. Is that like a mini tall neck head on its back? Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Ah. Oh my gosh, that's not what the plesiosaur mouth looked like. Well, I was gonna actually call it because I was like, I'll call it. I was about to say it right before the cutscene happened. I'm like, I'll call it now so we can get a scene of the place you saw before or at the start of the next video. But here it is at what potentially is the end of a video. I don't know. It's hard to keep track with all the downtime. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, <laughs> really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, but to especially Risco Ito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. And an extra special shout out to Christopher, my tree tier patron. Thank you so, so much for your support. I really appreciate it a lot. You're the super bestest. So thank you all again, and I hope to see you in the next one.